was a part of midnight dreary as I pondered, making lyrics. Suddenly, there came a tapping, rapping at my chamber door. Welcome to the 13 days of Halloween. Today is day four, so we are trucking right along. So for today's video, I am doing kind of like a reading list or books to read during the fall time or Halloween time. And I figured I would put this one kind of earlier in the 13 days of October. If you're kind of looking for a book to get you, you know, in the mood for fall and Halloween and just kind of in the spirit, then hopefully one of these books can do the trick for you. So I have most of my books in a huge stack next to me. It's like freaking so heavy. So I am not going to be going in any particular order and let's just jump into it. So the first book I have is Practical Magic, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this movie, definitely seen the movie, maybe a lot of you have read the book, but if you didn't know, the movie is based on a book. It's by Alice Hoffman, and it's really, really good. There's just like a lot more detail in the book than there is, you know, I love the movie. It's one of like my favorite movies of all time, so I just feel like if you love it, it's a great book to read to kind of get like more information on the characters. It's very like lyrical, like poetic, like there's just so many beautiful sentences in here and quotes and it's just like a really beautiful fall Halloween-y witchy book. Okay, the next book I have on my list is also like very Halloween-y and it's called The Physic Book of Deliverance Dane. So total tongue twister. <laughs> Um, but this book is, I haven't read it in years, but I've always like remembered it as being super good because it has to do with like the Salem witch trials, but it goes back and forth between like modern day and you know, like the late 1600s. And if you know me, you know I love Salem Mass. <laughs> and I've always just been very interested in like the Salem witch trials. So this is about a graduate student that is researching the trials and gets more involved than she needs to. It's very interesting. Um, I definitely recommend it. And it's definitely very like, you know, again, witchy and magical. And it's not like, it's kind of more serious too. I wanted to point that out. It's not like a cheesy witchy kind of book. It's more, um, it takes itself a little more seriously, which I like. So the next book on my list is actually like a two part and I actually prefer the first book more, but I don't have it here. It's at my parents' house. At least I think it is. Never heard of Sarah. Addison Allen, she writes kind of like witchy, magical, they're not necessarily witchy, but people just tend to have like magic powers or things happening to them in like somewhat ordinary settings. The first book I think is called Garden Spells and it is just about a family um, that has kind of like, again, magical powers. They don't really like to address it though, they kind of like to keep it secret and they live in a town where everybody else is normal and a sister so it's two sisters it's two sisters and i believe their grandmother i'm not 100 percent positive i haven't read it in a while and one sister returns and you know it sparks all sorts of interesting things that happen this book was you know it takes place in the fall so there's so much like beautiful fall imagery in here um it just not as much goes on it's just a little bit a little bit more dull. Um, I thought the first book was more interesting. I loved this book. I loved like the vibes that it gave, so that is why I'm recommending um, First Frost and also, like I said, Garden Spells. So if you're gonna read them, read Garden Spells first and then First Frost after, and they're about like the same family in both books. The next book is not like a novel by any means, but it's huge, <laughs> and it is The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. And I've always loved Edgar Allan Poe. We actually have two copies of this in our house for some reason. I'm not really sure why. It's just like all of his poems, all of his stories. And he's very, as you guys probably know, like dark and there's twisted stuff that goes on in his stories and poems. So it's a great time of year um, to read through at least like some of this um, to get you kind of in the spirit. The next two books I'm going to show you are astrology related because my channel is predominantly astrology and again fall is a great time to kind of get into more alternative like or spiritual stuff. So the first book I've told you guys I like these before but I will tell you again because they are my two favorite astrology books and I would always highly recommend them and it's Astrology, A Cosmic Science by Isabel M. Hickey. Just a super in-depth book. It goes all into, you know, complete birth chart information as 
you know, opposed to just like the sun sign stuff. Second book, which I'm sure you guys have heard of if you're into astrology, but it's the only astrology book that you'll ever need. And it is by Joanna Martine Wolfolk. Wolfolk. I love it though. Again, also super interesting. It goes into um, lots of stuff having to do with like your birth chart. And it also goes really into compatibility for those of you that may be interested in that portion of astrology. Um, the next book on my reading list is going, I don't have it physically. I've been listening to the entire series um, on Audible and it's Harry Potter. Of course, this is like the perfect time of year. I started listening like back in the late spring and I'm now on the seventh book um, and I love it. I've never listened to them before, so it's really fun. So if you have Audible, I definitely recommend the Harry Potter books. I also highly recommend reading them if you never have. They're amazing, my favorite books of all time. And my personal favorite book is book six. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, in case you were wondering. All right, the next book, it's actually two books again. And the first one is called How to Hang a Witch. I don't have like the covering because I lose that easily. I just find it really annoying when I'm trying to read. It's by Adriana Mather. And basically, Adriana Mather um, is a descendant of Cotton Mather, who was involved in the Salem Witch Trials, and that inspired her to write these books. So this is about a girl that moves to Salem, Mass, and kind of finds out that she's involved in this whole like weird happenings um, that have to do with you know stuff that happened hundreds and hundreds of years ago uh, within the Salem Witch Trials. So it's definitely like more of a fun read. It's just like fun, witchy again. This one, the first one takes place I believe in the fall. Yeah, it's not like a deep read but it's fun and I really enjoyed it. And the second one I am currently reading and it is Haunting the Deep, again by Adriana Mather, and it's the same characters, it's just like a different scenario, and it takes place in the spring, and it has to do more with like the Titanic. I'm only like a few chapters in, so I can't give you too much information, but I would definitely recommend the first one, and then the second one if you like the first one. So the last book I have here, I just wanted to do like kind of a scary book. This one is just really creepy if you haven't read it, um, and she writes other books as well, uh, but it's called In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware and basically it's about these people show up I believe it's a bachelorette party but it's like in the middle of the woods it's with people that haven't seen each other in years they don't really know each other and like weird stuff starts happening um, it's definitely creepy and there's some really good parts in here I'll give you I won't give anything away. It's a good read. You can definitely like read it quickly too. And it's just really like spooky. Okay, so that is my fall slash Halloween reading list. I'm kind of torn about my question of the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ask two. Um, my first question is what is your favorite fall slash Halloween reading material? Whether it be a book, poems, short stories, magazine, whatever it is, leave it down below. And my second question is if you have read the Harry Potter books, which one is your favorite? I will see you guys in my next video and hope you're enjoying the 13 days of Halloween and I will see you guys tomorrow. So have a good day or night. If you haven't read the short story by Edgar Allan Poe, The Cask, the cask of Amontillado, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's probably embarrassing how wrong I'm saying it. Amontillado? I don't know. I'm an English major too. I was, so this is really pathetic. Amontillado. Yeah.